Mecklenburg County voters approved a nearly billion dollar bond package so CMS could build new schools, put additions on schools, or just renovate other schools uh, back in 2017. But now, already, the school board is saying it needs more money. Education reporter Elsa Gillis first told you about this yesterday, and today she talked with the board chair to find out more about what's going on with this money. Elsa? And the county commission chairman told me here today he's not surprised to hear that the projected costs have gone up. He says the county has run into the same issue, but just how much money is needed to finish these projects is not clear right now, though we do expect to learn more in the weeks to come. Just two years after voters said yes to a $922 million school bond request, the reality of what the new schools and renovations will actually cost has changed. Please accept this letter as a formal request for additional funding to cover construction cost escalation for the projects in our development queue. This is a letter shared with Channel 9, sent this week from CMS board leaders to county leaders, saying those construction cost escalations are above the amounts forecast. Any time that you plan out a bond, you build in um, like a factor to account for inflation. And so we worked with the county to try to predict what that would be. And, you know, the, the costs have gone up higher than the county expected, higher than we expected. CMS board chair Elise Dashu says it's been a gradual process as bids have come back. So I know our staff has been working really hard on what can we cut. The letter points out without more money, they'll be forced to make significant modifications to the projects that all of us have promised the community. If the, the commitment was made, then we're certainly going to do everything we can to make sure that we follow through on that commitment. I asked County Commission Chair George Dunlap whether CMS will get the funding from the county board. You know, one of the things I will tell you about this board is that they're going to uh, make sure that they go through a deliberative process to make sure that the funds were spent um, appropriately. Um, and then we'll have to evaluate uh, what funds we have available. Now, the letter also says the money budgeted to buy land for the South Charlotte Relief School is insufficient. Now, at the February 25th CMS board meeting, Dashu says they're going to have a big discussion, big focus on where all of these projects stand, how we got here, and what's next. Back okay. to you guys. Elsa, and again, you're there outside the government center tonight where the school board meeting will begin shortly. And there's another big topic we're hoping to get addressed tonight. That's right, Erica, the crisis alert system. The superintendent is set to make an announcement on whether or not the vendor behind the crisis alert system, this big security system, was able to fix it. Oh, 30 days ago, he told us it wasn't working properly. I will tell you, though, we learned um, from Syntegix, the company, they put out a statement a short while ago saying they have successfully completed testing of the crisis alert solution in 26 CMS high schools. So we will see what the superintendent has to say tonight. Okay, Elsa, thank you. So does this mean an increase in your taxes? Elsa asked Chairman Dunlap about that. He says no, they have put money aside for one-time spending, so they will evaluate all the needs and then go from there.